Здравствуйте, товарищи, and welcome to our Let's Play of Mass Effect 3, and I could not be more excited. This is like a three-year project almost in the making. I remember starting up my Mass Effect 1 Let's Play, uh, you know, must have been well over two years ago, probably two and a half years ago, and uh, completing that and doing my Mass Effect 2 Let's Play. And now it's finally time to complete the trilogy. It's finally time to take Stalin Shepard uh, through his character arc and complete his evolution. So, with that being said, I don't want to waste too much time and I just kind of want to uh, jump into this game because I'm, I'm very, very excited. I should also say that, um, you know, uh, having a little bit of problems with the game, Origin has not been... Uh, the most friendly to me. Uh, there was a certain point where uh, I started up the game and I started it up and it said Origin is not running, game will shut down, so the game shut down and then I restarted Origin and then none of my games were there and at that point I almost literally shit bricks and fortunately uh, after restarting my computer uh, everything came back but just saying there might be some crashes we don't know but uh, let's hope that things will go forward. But anyway, here he is, Stalin Shepard, ready to go. Here we go, created on uh, 2010. Yeah, that was like, uh, wow, two years ago, fuck. Anyway. Uh, which, which one? Oh, okay, yeah, we'll do uh, this one. Uh, obviously our save, um, wow, going, uh, Going way, way back. Let's see here. We'll just go over the little uh, profile here of what we've done. Killed the Rachni Queen. Killed Ashley Williams on Vermeer. Chose to sacrifice the, the Council. Uh, destroyed uh, Malon's data. Kept Rex alive on Vermeer. Chose to destroy the Geth Heretics. Left the Collector base on Cerberus. Survived suicide mission with 10 squad mates. Romanced Liara before Mass Effect 2. Romanced Miranda in, ba in Mass Effect 2. Although we did complete the Shadow Broker DLC in which we got back together with her, but we'll, we'll see how that plays out. Mass Effect 3 cannot successfully determine the custom face, go, face code used by this import save game. Please update my character's appearance. Oh, lame. Alright, well let's see if we can make him as, uh, as much as... Stalin Shepard looked like which is really that's really uh, a pain in the ass but we'll see what we can do so I'll be right back I'm not gonna make you guys watch me go through all this okay so after like 15 minutes of painstaking labor I've created Stalin Shepard again it's not it's not the exact same he used to his face used to be a little bit more round so now it looks like he's, you know, got a little bit uh, sharper features. However, I say it's pretty good um, in terms of his hair and his epic handlebar mustache and his vague Asianness. It's it's all intact. So I'm feeling I'm feeling uh, pretty good about what I managed to accomplish. Though um, he used to have a scar, and I can't seem to find uh, scars anywhere here. He used to have this really epic scar, and for some reason, it's not here anymore. So maybe it's past? No, whatever. Okay, so the question is what are we going to play as this time? And I'm debating. I debated for a little while as to whether or not I was going to play uh, the Vanguard again because that was a lot of fun being able to like charge through walls and punch people in the face and then shotgun them. Or did I want to do something else? like a, um, you know, a soldier or, or uh, something else. But in the end, I decided, you know, we had fun as a vanguard. Um, so let's, it, it kept the action uh, exciting. It kept it moving quickly. So let's stick with our, our vanguard. And uh, here he is. Stalin Shepard is returned. Earthborn, ruthless, class vanguard. And we'll, we'll go from there.
How bad is it? Bad. We just lost contact with two of our deep space outposts. There's something massive on long-range scanners. Is this what Shepard warned us about? I'd stake my life on it. How long do we have? Not long. I sent word. The fleets are mobilizing. God help us all. Um, okay, in 2153, humanity discovered there's not alone in the universe. Okay, we'll just, I'll just let you guys read this. Commander. You're not supposed to call me that anymore, James. Not supposed to salute you either. We gotta go. The defense committee wants to see you. Sounds important. What's going on? Couldn't say. Just told me they needed you. Now. Anderson? Admiral? You look good, Shepard. Maybe a little soft around the edges. How are you holding up since being relieved from duty? It's not so bad once you get used to the hot food and soft beds. We'll get it sorted out. What's going on? Why is everyone in such a hurry? Admiral Hackett's mobilizing the fleets. I'm guessing words made it to Alliance Command. Something big's headed our way. The Reapers? We don't know. Not for certain. What else could it be? If I knew that. It's the Reapers. And we're not ready for it. Not by a long shot. Tell that to the defense committee. Unless we're planning to talk the Reapers to death, the committee is a waste of time. They're just scared. None of them have seen what you've seen. You faced down a Reaper. Hell, you spoke to one. They blew the damn thing up. You've seen how they harvest us, what they plan to do to us. You know more about this enemy than anyone. That why they grounded me? Took away my ship? You know that's not true. The shit you've done? Any other soldier would have been tried, court-martialed, and discharged. It's your knowledge of the Reapers that kept that from happening. That and your good word? Yeah, I trust you, Shepard. And so does the committee. I'm just a soldier, Anderson. I'm no politician. I don't need you to be either. I just need you to do whatever the hell it takes to help us stop the Reapers. They're expecting you to, Admiral. Good luck in there, Shepard. Anderson? Shepard! Ashley? Lieutenant Commander? How'd it go in there? I can never tell with them. I'm just waiting for orders now. Lieutenant Commander? You hadn't heard? No. I'm a bit out of the loop these days. Sorry, sir. Didn't mean to keep you out of the loop. It's not like you learned the Reapers were coming and didn't tell me. True enough. Admiral. Come on. You know the commander? I used to. Admiral Anderson. Shepard. What's the situation? We were hoping you would tell us. The reports coming in are unlike anything we've seen. Whole colonies have gone dark. We've lost contact with everything beyond the Sol Relay. Whatever this is, it's incomprehensibly powerful. You brought me here to confirm what you already know. The Reapers are here. Thank you. 
then? How do we stop them? Stop them? This isn't about strategy or tactics. This is about survival. The Reapers are more advanced than we are. More powerful, more intelligent. They don't fear us. And they'll never take pity on us. But... there must be some way. Each of us has to be willing to die to save humanity. Anything less, and they've already won. That's it? That's our plan? Admiral, we've lost contact with Luna Base. The moon? They couldn't be that close already. How they get past our defenses? Sir, UK headquarters has a visual. We heard from Admiral Hackett. What do we do? The only thing we can. We fight or we die. We should get to the Normandy. Williams, is that you? What's your status? I can't raise the Normandy. You'll have to contact me. We'll meet you at the landing zone. Anderson up. <clears throat> okay, so this looks like it's pretty much the same sort of starting point as the demo. I'm just going to take a uh, quick s quick second and make sure our audio levels are nice and everything is is good to go. Um. Okay. Everything is good to go. Although I've I've just learned that F9 is the auto load key, which is also the same key I hit uh, to start recording. So we're probably going to have to remedy that sometime in the future. But. On the plus side, we got rid of that. God, uh, they got rid of that goddamn committee. So that's good news. Take a running jump. It's farther than it looks. Seriously, I don't think anybody likes committees. So there, I am pretty happy with how my new uh, custom here, commander, St or sorry, Stalin Shepard turned out. I think it looks very much so like the first, like the old the one Shepherd. because I. I have We're about five minutes out. Husk, take him out. Because I uh, had brought up the first and second playthroughs of Mass Effect on my on my iPhone while I was making the uh, making this new. Or recreating uh, Stalin Shepard. So I had uh, a comparison right beside me. Don't let him grab you. 
Um, but he's still not perfect. Definitely looks like that he's he's been working out a little bit more than our old uh, Stalin Shepherd, but that's okay. Watch it. Oh, heavy melee. Hmm. Apparently, I've got some kind of new awesome. Uh, Through this way. Energy attack because uh, last time when I played through the demo, I was using sort of uh, an Omni Blade. Hey, it's okay. Everyone's dying. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Come on, you've got to get out of here. Take my hand. You can't help me. Shepard! In here. Oh, I just can't believe I'm playing ah, this game. This is a goddamn mess. Every minute these machines are here, thousands of innocent people die. I won't be responsible. You're not responsible for the ones that die. We fight for the ones left standing when it's all over. Yeah. Maybe you're right. I get so fast. I thought we'd have more time. We knew they were coming. And they still just cut through our defenses. We need to go to the Citadel. Talk to the Council. The Citadel? The fight's here. It'll be everywhere soon enough. You said it yourself. <clears throat> the Reapers will destroy everything if we don't stop them. The Council has to help us. You sure about that? No, but you were a Council Spectre. That has to count for something. Gotcha! <sighs> Thanks. I owe you one. More than one. Grab some ammo. Reload, let's keep moving. Come on, it hasn't been that long since you've handled the weapon. So, this is your first time uh, being introduced to uh, Stalin Shepard. Um, basically, he's, he's a badass. Um, but in the end, he gets the he gets the gets shit done. He doesn't care what he needs to do or how many people need to die. In the end, he's going to be the one to save the galaxy at any cost. Get to that gunship. So, 
Is it just me, or does everybody seem a little bit more disheveled in this game? Because everybody seems like a little bit more haggard and weary. Oh shit, probably not the best idea. Uh, let's go take cover instead. It's probably a better tactical strategy. Yeah, that's right. I have uh, ammo powers and other types of things that I can use. Like my charge! Where'd he go? Once, uh, you know, once we get a nice shotgun and level up a little bit and, you know, get some better armor, that charge is just so much fun to use. You just fly into a group of enemies and start punching people in the face and, you know, then blasting them away with the shotgun. It's great. Ooh, I can actually use a assault rifle this time. Normandy, this is Anderson. Do you read? Admiral, what's your location? By a downed gunship in the harbor. I'm activating his distress beacon. Send support. We've got wounded out here. <laughs> Lieutenant! <laughs> Damn it! I've lost the signal. Let's hope that beacon does its job. And fast, we've got company. Because uh, last time, in Mass Effect 2, uh, vanguards were stuck using only submachine guns, pistols, and shotguns. And of course, they're heavy weapons. So hopefully now, every class can use every weapon. But we'll see. Sorry, I, I really gotta fiddle with the controls a little bit because the button to get cover and then go over cover and sprint and do just about everything in the game is the space bar. Oh crap! <laughs> well... I was uh, trying to hit the ammo, uh, the fire ammo button, but I accidentally charged out instead. But it's okay. Because in the end, we made it back alright. And probably took out a dude on our way over, so... Could have gone worse. Well, uh... Hey there. Anderson, I'm kind of out of ammo. Gentlemen. Doesn't matter now, though. About time. Let's go. Shepard! Come on! I'm not going! You saw those men back there. There's a million more like them, and they need a leader. We're in this fight together! It's a fight we can't win. Not without help. We need every species, and all their ships, to even have a chance at defeating the Reapers. Talk to the Council. Convince them to help us. What if they won't listen? 
Then make them listen. Now go. That's an order. I don't take orders from you anymore, remember? Consider yourself reinstated, Commander. You know what you have to do. I'll be back for you, and I'll bring every fleet I can. Good luck. You too, Shepard. There you go. I, w I gotta say, not quite uh, as epic an opening as Mass Effect 2, but still pretty damn epic. What the hell's going on? Where's Anderson? Where are we going? <laughs> hey! We're leaving. Leaving? What's going on? Anderson wants us to go to the Citadel, get help for the fight. Bullshit, he wouldn't order us to leave. He can see what's going on. Without help, this war's already over. Then you can drop me off at the nearest depot, because I'm not stoic, Lieutenant. You don't want to go. We get it. But this isn't a democracy. We're going to the Citadel. You want out, you can catch a ride back from there. Commander! Joker! That you? Alive and kicking. Got an emergency transmission from Admiral Hackett for you. Patch it through. Shepard. Saying heavy losses. The force was overwhelming. There's no way we can defeat them conventionally. Anderson's already ordered me to the Citadel to talk to the Council. First, I need you to find outpost on Mars. Now we lose control of the system. Yes, sir. I've been researching the Prothean archives with <laughs> Dr. Tassoni. We <laughs> found a way to stop the Reapers. <laughs> Only way to stop them. <laughs> Contact soon. Hack it out. Joker, set a course for the Mars archives. Mars? Roger that. This is local. Why Mars? What does he think we'll find there? I don't know yet. But if it helps us win this war... Grab your gear. Um... So... Actually, no, never mind. I have absolutely nothing to say. I think everything... That 
that needs to be said has, has already been said. Activity? Negative. Eating? The base appears to be online. It's possible the inhabitants were evacuated. We'll know soon enough. Be ready, Joker. Just in case. Roger that. Normandy out. We're almost there. Actually, now I remember what I was going to say. I remember that there was a DLC that kind of led into Mass Effect 3. Unfortunately, I never got the opportunity to play said DLC. So, I don't exactly know what happened then. And I also have no idea who this James guy is. Maybe he was in that DLC, but to me, he, he's just kind of randomly here. I've got no explanation as to, you know, why he exists or what his role is. But we've got a massive storm headed our way. How long till it hits? Half hour tops. After that, we're going to have difficulty keeping up comms with the Normandy. Understood. Oh, sweet. I get to keep my levels. That's pretty sweet. Okay. Squad. So, let's see here. So, let's see what we can upgrade. So, let's take a little look at the types of, uh, trees we have here. So it looks like once we kind of go through the ranks we get to to expand. So I would actually probably take ammo increase. Where's fitness? More health, more shield. S sounds good by me. Nova, pull the charge. Oh, I've only got two points left. Okay. So I'll just auto upgrade. I'm just going to auto level up these guys. Alright, that's good enough for now. change the loadout on the fly interesting looks like they've got a, a new way of allocating weapons I see it looks like there's also a weight system so if I equip the sniper rifle, I'll go overweight, which decreases power charge speed. Interesting. Well, let's keep it on. For now. And see just how detrimentally a reduced power charge speed might actually, you know, hinder us. For some reason, I feel like I'm missing something. Oops. So... We've got this James guy, who I don't really know who he is, and now we've got uh, Cerberus attacking us. Or, or attacking Mars. 
even though uh, we, were, we left the last game on really good terms. Because, uh, you know, I was totally down with Cerberus the last game. It seemed like they were the only ones who were, you know, taking shit seriously. They were the only ones who knew what was going on. Of course, you know, they brought me back to life, which was nice of them. You know, they didn't really have to do that. If that's what you're asking. It wasn't, but you have to admit, it's a bit convenient. 